Hey, we're going to talk about markdowns today, um, about the manufacturers and such um, setting markdowns, how much they want to mark it down, what percent. So here's an example. Um, we're looking at the regular selling price of a recliner is $175. The markdown is 28%. What is the sale price going to be? Okay, so the markdown is basically the percent off that you get on an item. Okay, so when we look at this, oh, we've already got, they're getting 28% off. So here's one way to calculate it. You take the price, times the 28% and we get $49 off. That's the markdown. So if we're using our little formulas up here, the markdown is you take that selling price times the markdown rate. That's what we just did. Okay. The sale price is going to be the regular price minus whatever it's been marked down. And that's how much you'll have left over to charge. Okay, so for this you would pay $126. Okay, are there any questions on that? So if they just give you the markdown or give you the sale price and the regular price, you can either subtract to find the markdown or if they give you percent, you can multiply by the percent to find the markdown. Then to find the sale price, you would have to take the regular price minus the markdown. And that's not one that they put up there. Okay, let's try another one. Here's Jan. Jan has a clearance on overstocked shirts. Shirts that usually sell for $45 and $29. What's the markdown? Okay, so the first thing we need to find is what's the difference in price in dollars? How many dollars did we mark down um, the price of these overstocked shirts? So they were a regular of $45, and we're going to subtract from that the $29 they were on sale. We find they were marked down by $16. Now we want the markdown rate for that. We want to know what percent these shirts were marked down. So to do that, you take the markdown, the number of dollars it was marked down, and you divide that by the regular price of the item. Now it's important you do the regular price and not the sale price because that will cause problems. And this will give us our rate. If we take the markdown divided by the regular price of the item. So that would be $16 divided by $45. Now this is going to give us a decimal. This is our decimal answer and then we will have to change that rate to a percent. Okay, so we get about 0.36. Okay, and then we change that to a percent. It would be 36%. So our markdown is 36%. Let's try another one. So here we have winter coats. The winter coats are on sale starting um, April 1st. A leather coat is 40% off of the regular selling price of an item. So notice we have the $394.99 coat. What's the markdown to the nearest cent? Okay. So up there, we have two ways to find the markdown. Notice we can either subtract, or if we're given the rate, if we take the regular selling price of the item, $394.99, times our rate of 40%, then we can go ahead and solve this. Okay, remember to, <clears throat> let's go ahead and first change our percent to a decimal, so what would 40% be as a decimal?
Now, taking a look at this problem, um, what are we going to be doing here? Winter coats are on sale. Um, they are 40% off the regular price of $399.99. Okay, move the decimal over two places to the left. We get 0.4 for our 40% times the $394.99. And that gives us 157.996. Now remember, we're supposed to round to the nearest cent here, which would cut it off right there. However, the 6 makes the 99 round up to 100. So instead of 157.99, that rounds us up to even $158. All right, any questions?